In this video, I want to show you the starter screen of Adobe XD, how it looks and what it does. So if we go back to here, you can click open next to Adobe XD and it's going to launch this, which is called starter screen. Now, starter screen does many different things, but basically what it does is it helps you navigate the UI quickly and it helps you understand and reach all of these things much quicker than if you didn't have this starter screen. So starting from here, we are home. So this is your home screen. You can see the plan you are on and I'm on a starter plan for this demonstration because I just want to show you that on a free plan, you can actually achieve majority of these things that they are located in the free plan uh, in the paid plan sorry as well but you have some limitations and we're going to sh uh, talk about them a little bit later next we have learn and this is just a learn tab from adobe xd team so you can click right there to access the uh, tutorials and stuff like that and you can also do it by uh, clicking on any one of these links so you can quickly jump and learn more about any one of these features next what we have is we have cloud documents now because xd is cloud-based app all of the documents which are located in your cloud and depending of which plan you have is it a free or a paid plan you will have a bigger or smaller storage in the cloud you can access them right there shared with you are cloud documents which are shared with you by your teammates clients developers whoever else and deleted are obviously the files you have deleted you can manage links because you have a single link to share on a starter plan on a free plan Plan, and you have unlimited sharing possibilities on the premium plan then you can simply manage links you can block visitors from accessing those links you can um, delete the links you can update links you can manage them all right here as I said in a starter plan you have just one link to share and in a, a premium plan you have unlimited links then below that we have on your computer and you can click right here to open up Photoshop uh, or Adobe Illustrator files sketch files or XD files and we're going to talk about that in a separate lesson because I want to share the differences between those right here what we have are uh, common artboard sizes so usually all of these artboards are uh, used by majority of designers in the industry so right here on the left we have phone and tablet sizes if you click right here you can access all of the most common dimensions and as uh, all of these devices are updated as new iPhones for example come out or a new Google Pixel phones come out uh, the Adobe XD team is going to update them right here if they require update because sometimes these manufacturers don't uh, update the sizes of their devices they're just using the same size for the future device they're going to launch next to that we have common web design sizes so we have 1920 we have 1366 and we have 1280 obviously there are some differences there but not that major you can choose any one of these and we're going to talk about that in the artboard lesson a little bit later we have instagram story we have Instagram posts, so all of these are social media sizes if you're creating for social media. And finally, we have custom size, so you can enter any kind of size you want in order to open it up. And below that, we have just some recent documents that we opened on this device. If we didn't open anything recently, then this is going to be blank until you open it. As I said, this is a starter plan, but you can click right here to upgrade it to premium plan if you don't have it. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to click right here to open up uh, this 1920 by 1080 size and in the next lesson we're going to talk about interface what all of this is and how to navigate your way around Adobe XD so I'll see you there